Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. It's Morning, morning everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building who's come as himself today. <laughs> what do you mean? Because remember last time he came at 6'9". That's a long time ago. That was so long and ago. Then he came as somebody else before. Post, Post Malone, Malone. But that was a long time ago. And that, this last time we seen him. No, it's not. Yes, he's, it he's been up here at this house since then. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, yeah. once. Gary Owen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I think I came... What did I come last time? Uh, married. I'm just kidding. <laughs> married. <laughs> oh, married. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you, you were, were married last right. time. You were, you were that, was huh? that was a costume? That was a costume? Is that what you're saying, Gary? Wow. That, that was an act? Wow. wow. I'm kidding, kidding. I didn't want to start well, there. Well, I mean, we were going to say, ask how you were doing. But since I'm you, good. I, I was asking before I got here, like, uh, how much longer are you here? Oh, am I here? Um, I'm not absolutely sure the date, but they said fall. So in the fall sometimes. I feel like you said that to a black woman before in your life. Well, you like, <laughs> any truth to that? Who knows I'm leaving but doesn't have a date? <laughs> <laughs> I quit, but not today. Well, you know, they got to find, they gotta find replacements, so that takes a little time. I got to find my co-host, so. That ain't going to be in the us, next two months, though. Yeah, in order That's for us to throw that out there, we have to announce it. I think it's better you just weren't here. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Like, it's just like, where's Angela? And all of a sudden, boom, got a new show. Right. It's out. Like that Issa Rae. Like Issa Rae when she got married. Like, nobody knew, and it was just married. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Is that That's how right. you're going to go about your life from now on? Jeez, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it, Gary. You. What the hell happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you... Okay, let me see. What do you think happened? Well, according to BET last year... Good job. Your wife at the time, Kenya Duke, was slamming a woman she believes to be your mistress. She said, you definitely know who I am. You didn't care at Gary on comedy. Was, is married, and you don't seem to care. He still hasn't seen his kids, which is weird, because you are a baby mama. You read it like a, with an attitude. Dang. That was the first? That's that was I like said. the fourth thing that came out, right? Yeah, that was a lot first. of things. That wasn't was, the first. That was a good one, though. That was, that you was, know why? Because easy. me and Duval and Carlos Miller, we always say black men don't cheat because we don't, you know? So <laughs> you was, if you was out here doing that, then, you know, you're proving us right. Black <laughs> men oh, yeah. don't cheat, but hey. It's gracious. And you spent right. a lot of money, too, on The Mistress because I saw that was part of the story. What is there? So did you cheat? Did you have a mistress? Here's the thing. Okay. No good marriage ever ended because of cheating. I'll put it that way. Mm. No good marriage ever ended because of cheating. No bad marriages have, mm -hmm. but no good marriage. Now that's debatable, but that's a great talking point, Gary. That's a good like that could start a great conversation. But mm. also, like, I I left. This whole narrative was like she left me because I got caught cheating. Correct. I left. Really? I filed first. Mm. I made the phone call saying I don't want to be divorced. I, I don't want to be married. Mm -hmm. So I want a divorce. So when everything came out, I just stayed quiet. But this whole narrative was, I got caught out there. She left me. That's not what happened. Okay, I thought she filed for divorce. No, I filed first. So okay. why she filed after so, me? So why so did what, you file? Like, what, yeah, what, what wasn't working? You just, you can get into all kinds of reasons. But the end of the day is you're unhappy, and then you you sit here and you you stay in it for the kids and everything else, and then you're like, God, I'm miserable. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because you feel selfish for choosing your own happiness. It's what, weird how that happens. Because well, women always say, if you're going to be out there and you're going to be doing dirt and do this, do this, leave. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Okay. That's what I did. Did you try to make it work at least? We, Yeah, a couple times. Like I, there was a f I left a couple times. Mm -hmm. We were together 23 years. Mm -hmm. There were a couple times that I left, but nobody knew. Wow. But this last time was just like, I'm just, just unhappy. So how was it filming a show? When a you, reality show? Yeah, the reality show. Were you guys okay then, or were you like, I'm gonna try to stick it through? And no, we were the... we were in a good place during the, during the reality show, mm -hmm. but it was it was after that. I left once after that, and then I left again. This last time, I just went. I'm just I'm I'm miserable. So now, how should what? we? Why should we believe you? She said you're a lying narcissist, Gary. Why should isn't we believe that you? the go-to though? <laughs> the narcissist part. As soon as a guy leaves, he's a narcissist. A narcissist would have made a comment. You didn't deny the lying quiet. though. What do you mean? You just said the narcissist. Well, your narcissist lying goes with lying. I mean, come on now. <laughs> but it's it's that's that's always the go to mm -hmm. the narcissist. Um, the one that got me that, that you read it so much about you. Like I was reading about myself. Like, dang, this dude's wild. And I was like, wait, I'm reading about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The, de the deadbeat part. The deadbeat. Yeah. Because I was I was I was there. I was present. I liked being a dad. Mm -hmm. I mean, there wasn't a time. My kids never rode the bus. Like, if I'm home, I'm taking them to school, picking them up. And if not home, she's doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, going to practice, uh, whether it was volleyball, basketball, going to games. I didn't miss nothing. I didn't miss a birthday. You know, I remember we were at Think Like a Man 2, 
July 3rd, 2013, and I caught, we got off at like five. I got on the plane so I could make sure I made my daughter's birthday, her 11th birthday, to make it back. I didn't go to sleep. Wow. I mean, it's not like I deserve kudos for that. That's what you're supposed to yeah, do. You're a dad. You're a dad. You're a dad. Yeah, well, so but I like being a dad. So now to be called a Debbie, if one, you can't be a Debbie to adults. Mm-hmm. I've said that before, but right now, like. You can't be a Debbie. Oh, because they're grown. Okay, okay. They're grown. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, but um, it's also like I haven't talked to them in like a year and a half. Or Your seen kids? Them. Yeah. You haven't? Yeah. Like I just. Are they mad at you? Or? They're, they're mad. Got you, got you. Because I, I left their mom, though. So I left their mom. So what? So for people to say, like, what happened? Most marriages, right? They don't work because of infidelity, money, uh, abuse, mental abuse. So what was the reason why it didn't work? Why couldn't y'all hold it together? What was the reason? You said you weren't happy. Why weren't you happy, guys? Trump. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you blame Trump on everything. We blame Trump for everything. That, that, see, Trump, 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 man. Trump, man. Everything went down. Serious conversation. No, no, no. Joking. <laughs> oh, Ivanka, Ivanka. No, uh, I don't know. There, there's a, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, what's important to me is like not to throw her under the bus because it. I want my kids and her to still have a good relationship and always have a good relationship. So it does me no good to like get into what she did, mm. you know. But you know, I, I feel, just. Do you feel that she's lashing out because her feelings are hurt? Mm-hmm. Without question. And I know that, does that make you feel bad that obviously she's destroyed over that? You guys have been together for 23 years. Yeah, we've got a long time. Long time, guys. Long time. Can't long be time. mad at her for feeling that way. I'm, that's why I don't go in on her. Mm-hmm. I get it. I heard it. I hurt her. I, I broke up the family dynamic and everything. But even when I called, I remember when I called, I didn't, I, I said, hey, I'm just not happy. I'm, I'm going to file. You did and, this over the phone? You didn't do it face to face. Listen, I tried it the first time. I tried it face to face. Okay, I'm not doing that again. So I said, this one's going up. But you the got phone. swung on. Uh, let's just say I'm not doing that again. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, we just went over the phone. So when I called her and we we was talking, we talked for like five hours, and I thought we were going to keep it quiet. Mm-hmm. We would just be like, and and even she said we were a good example of a married couple. Let's show how people can get divorced with dignity and everything, mm-hmm. and. Then, I don't know what happened. TMZ got a hold of it, and I don't know. But, you know, I I filed in Ohio. We had mm-hmm. two residences. We had one in Ohio, one in California. Mm-hmm. I filed for divorce in Ohio. She filed in California. So I, when I found it, when I saw the TMZ, my lawyer called and was like, we think a process server is on the way trying to serve you because that's a big deal. How you getting served? That's the whole story itself, me on the run. You were running from the process? Oh, my God. So that means you I didn't say, want to get divorced then? Huh? That means you didn't want to get no, divorced? No, no. I didn't want to divorce in California. He filed oh. in Ohio. I filed in Ohio. Mm-hmm. She filed in California. Because you get what, half? They take half in California or something like that? Or more I don't than know. Half? It's in Ohio. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. But, I, you know, the process server, when my lawyer called, and was like, dude, because I remember I was in Naples, Florida. It was a Friday night. And I had two shows. I get off stage, and I'm like, ah, shit. Because I'm getting text messages, and everybody sent me the links to BET and people and all that. I'm like this. How'd this happen? My lawyer said, you got a show? I said, yeah. She goes, you got to cancel it. I said, what do you mean? She goes, we're worried you're going to get served. I said, what, what's that? I didn't know what a process server was. She goes, no, you don't understand. She goes, the process server serves you. Chances are the divorce could go down in California. That happens. That's what she said. California is a 50-50 state, Damn. which means she can get half of everything for the rest of your life. I said, say less. This show's over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, you screw those 300 people that shows. night in, in Naples, Florida. I was on the run. Goodness if you goodness. look at my social media, yeah. I don't make a post for like three months. <laughs> I switched my cell number, my cell carrier, because I'd be watching First 48. They'd be pinging them. That's how they catch the killers. So how did, did they ever catch you? No. I was on the run, bro. Now, I was this, going this, to really white areas. Wait, I was wait, blending wait, in. Guys. I went to Maine for a week. I hiked the Appalachian Trail in West Virginia. I went to Montana. I went to North and South Dakota. I mean, it was. I was Randy Mall, straight cash, homie. I canceled all my credit cards. I was on the run, bro. They almost got me in Colorado Springs. Almost got me in Colorado Springs. No, no, no. Colorado Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs. Springs. Okay, I'm sorry. No, Colorado Springs almost got me. The guy chased me. I said on my last special, I said, I turned into uh, Morris Chestnut from Boys in the Hood. That was chasing me down. (laughs) He tried to throw the papers at me. Morris got caught, guy. Morris got caught. No, I didn't. I yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Ricky got that one. <laughs> so all this means you, almost, had, you didn't have a prenup. Then that, yeah. We didn't have none. We got married. Right. 23 years. Yeah, I mean, yeah. still, I'm just asking because people who are getting married now, there's talk about prenups yeah, and whether yeah, yeah. or not you should get one. No, I didn't get no prenup. Does she, does she work? Yeah, I mean, she flips houses. 
Okay. And she had the travel company and mm-hmm. stuff. So, so. so what people will say is that, you know, she sacrificed raising the kids while you had your career. She deserves well, we, half guys. We, right. we sacrificed. We raised the kids together. You know what I mean? But if you weren't there because you were on the road, you were traveling, doing shows, people would say, well, doesn't she deserve she half? She deserves half. No, no, no. She don't. <laughs> 23 years. Raise that's a children. long time. I've been with my wife that, for 24. This is, that's what I'm getting at. I'm not going to say nothing bad about her, but you don't know the whole story. Oh, okay. You yeah, don't yeah, even yeah, know. Yeah, okay. Well, how okay. much does it okay. have to okay. about your okay. kids, though, okay. to not right, have spoken right. to them for a year and yeah, a half? That's your kids. Yeah, how that sucks. You... That ain't going to lie. Did you try? I, I, huh? Did you try to call them? Oh, I've done everything. I've mm-hmm. done everything. I have, I've I've gone to Greensboro because my daughter's at A&T, knocked on her door. She wouldn't answer. Damn. I just I tried to see her at the airport one time. Try to catch her, Yikes. and then you know, it's just that it hurts. is what I it. I don't know what to do at this point because I'm like blocked on social media. I've gone to every outlet to try to get a hold of my daughter. I went to Venmo, I went to WhatsApp, and every time I reach out, it's like then I'm blocked. Damn. So it's like, dang. Even what? when you send money? No, 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 no. On Venmo, just say hi. Oh, yeah, got, yeah, you, yeah. got you, got you, got you, got <laughs> you. Yeah, don't say hi without no money attached to it, Dad. Okay. But when did that go back? Because y- y- y'all, were, y- y'all were doing this together. Like, y'all were getting a divorce together. You mm-hmm. said you had a five-hour yeah. conversation. You-, you told the kids. And then when did it go left with the kids? Cause- no, we didn't tell the kids. We were going to, like, wait and, like, do <gasps> it together. So they had to hear on the line. Internet. TMZ. That's oh, how they found out. Man. And and then I had, to, I had to lie to my daughter one time because the processor was coming. And I didn't know. And she was supposed to come to Baltimore after it hit the fan. And I was like, come to Baltimore and we could sit down and we just have a weekend together and I, we could talk. And then I couldn't because I wasn't, she wasn't served yet and I wasn't served. So I had to tell my daughter, I said, you can't come because if, she, if she's with me and she gets served, I'm served. So it, it got like a love and war type deal and it sucked because I had to mm-hmm. lie to her and be like, ah, I, had, came, I came up with some reason like, I don't know if I'm going to do the show in Baltimore. But I still, I flew her to... Um, Arizona to hang out with her cousin because I like, it's important to be with somebody this weekend. So I said, go go hang out with your cousin in Arizona. I got it. But I had that was that was one thing I lied about. But, I'm not sure you can say you was ducking the process server. I'm, I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know if you should get on the radio and admit. Oh, that it's you already were... done though. Yeah. Like that's done. Like we're we're in court yeah. right now. We're going. We're the, okay. the, the divorce is happening. Okay. Okay. It's not it's not final yet. Mm-hmm. But we're still hashing out stuff. So, seems so like it's filed in weirdness. So it Dude, wasn't pro- no the process servers. They're unreal. They're unreal. Like boogeyman, man. You just make me scared of the process. But you don't, don't you don't know who it is and who wasn't. Because I would never fly into a city I was performing at because she kind of had a leg up because my schedule's online, right? Yeah, yeah. So when I, when I tell you I stayed in the... Ba- she just got served. Okay, <laughs> 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 like this. Uh, yeah, she gets... <laughs> She gets this water. <laughs> <laughs> no, one time I was in a, I, I would never fly into a city I was going to. So one time I was in Baltimore, I flew into Pittsburgh and drove to Baltimore. And I stopped at like a Bob Evans because mm-hmm. I was in like an Amish country. I'm like, I'm safe here. <laughs> All right. All of a sudden, one black dude walks in. I go, what's he doing here? <laughs> and he's like, like, Daddy. He goes, yo, Gary. I said, not today. Not today. He came to me. I'm throwing banana bread at the brother, gravy. He's chasing around Bob Evans. I said, bro, stop chasing me. <laughs> was he the processor though? No, I don't know. I ran away from him. I don't know. <laughs> did, the other, did the other white people in the restaurant get scared? when They, they saw was you like, were... what? Yeah, they was like, what is going on? I said, dude, I, I ain't that dude today. I'm Why not you didn't scream for help? <laughs> I did. Dude. I, was like, I told my open. I go start the car. Start the car. I got it in like Duke boys. Oh, Gary, so where did man. it end up getting filed? Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Ohio. Yeah, it took took a lot, but we finally got. She got. She got served before I did. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it just. Well, what do you think is fair? Um, I don't know. There's a lot I can't talk about. Okay. Still, because it's not final. But I mean. Hmm. I don't want. I don't want to say anything because it could be used against, be used against me. So, you know, I think, I think about twelve dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel bad for laughing. How did they catch up? Though? How did they catch huh? up? Oh, uh, <laughs> got her. We got her at a Panera Bread drive-through. Stop oh, playing. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody at the drive-through, like in the drive-through, she gave got it to her. Blocked in with two cars. And then the this processor was like, "It's go time." And I was like, "Dude, this is not the born identity." <laughs> you was with him. Had to be. I wow. flew. I, I flew. Gary. No, no. It was I like. I thought she was going to Panera Bread. 
I didn't. Here's what happened. Oh my gosh. I, I hired a process server and I paid 24 seven surveillance. Like this is she would, would not come. She would, she would not come out the house. She was like not coming out. They're like, and the process was like, she won't come out. Nobody will come out. I said, act like you DoorDash. My son's always ordering food. And then she was <laughs> like, they was like, drop it at the door. I was like, we got the ring camera. She goes, they just say drop it at the door. I was like, dang it. So I had to hire a, a different person. And me and her flew. We flew into Sacramento. And so we didn't want to fly into San Francisco, Oakland, because we don't know. She got a lot of cousins in the Bay. Mm-hmm. So we flew into SAC, got a rental car, and drove. And I said, yo, she shops a lot, and she grocery shops a lot. I said, so we pulled into a Safeway. She was pulling out. I said, no way. And the processor was like, should we get her now? I said, nah, she, we, we can't. We can't block her in. We had to follow her for like 20 minutes on the highway. And I'm in the back seat hiding because I, I didn't want to see her in the passenger seats. Now I'm back and I'll keep ducking up, ducking up. And she goes, I think she knows it's us. I go, she has no clue. Come on. So we got her. She went into Panera and she got blocked in. And then we got her. That Gary, way. I hope you're telling the truth because, man, if not, you are about to unleash a black woman scorned on your ass. I ain't saying nothing bad about her. But you saying something. You talking, period. She's going to have but something he, but he to never say. Spoke. He never spoke. We always heard. I know, but, but I'm, I'm ne- wondering why now. But like, I never <clears throat> said I'm not, and I won't say anything bad about her. This is just what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. happened. Like, she got served at Panera Bread. I did file first. Nothing I said didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But why Why now, though? Like, why talk about it now? Because it, it went quiet. It was quiet. Uh, I don't know. Everybody kept telling me, like, you should tell your side. And I'm, and honestly, it's probably a. Uh, also, this is another effort for my kids to hear it. Yeah, and yeah, they're gonna yeah, hear yeah. it. True. Mm-hmm. What's you know? the road to you and uh, Kenya being civil? Like, what do you think has to happen? I don't know. I think the divorce has to become final first, mm-hmm. and then then we can start the healing process. Uh, but right now, it's like, geez, it's ugly as it can get. Are you worried you know? about her exposing your n-word tape? Oh God, that's, your, that's never. Y'all happened. been together twenty three years. Yeah, that's never happened. <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Ohio State fan, bro. But, but I was gonna ask, with, with your kids, so so how do you like? Because you, you're the dad, so you got to pay for ish. So how does that work? Because you paying for college, paying for this, paying for that. I, I'll be honest. I paid for the first year and a half at A and T, and then my daughter got really upset at, at me, and uh, she said, "I don't want you paying anything else. Stop." Are oh, they really mad? Mad? They mad? Mad? Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. And so I was just, but like the, you know, we always talk about the betrayal part. The the stuff that got me was like my circle. Like I had to completely change it. Like my my openers, they did some dirty stuff with the divorce. I was like telling my kids stuff about me wow. and things like that. And then my dad was the worst. My dad, your dad, all oh, that that hoback bitch. Oh what? my god! What'd your dad did my, your dad? my dad did the bitch bitch shit of bitches. You got to edit this out, probably right? No, no. cousin. No, this motherfucker. So when uh, when the divorce hit the fan, the processor, my dad kept calling, texting, man, call me, call me, I got your back. Da, da, da. And keep in mind, this is the dad that wasn't around when I was growing up. And then he kind of came back when I got in TV and movies. It's weird how that happens. Got you. This, so one of the, the weeks I was hiding out, I went to Sedona with um, this girl that I'm seeing, right? At this point, it's not Miss Side Chick. This is June. We, get been se- we had been separated since January. It hit the fan in March 2021. That's that's who she was. Probably, Kenya was probably talking about. Right? She's upset. Yeah, 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 about her. So, um, we were in Sedona at a, at a, and we went to Grand Canyon, and I took a picture and I sent it to like five, six people in, in my inner circle that letting people know I'm okay, keeping people up there and where I was. My dad was part of that, right? So, my dad, I go to Cincinnati like in July Fourth last year. I go to a Reds game, and I got a suite, and I'm still nobody's been served. So I'm still being careful. You know, so I had to get a suite because I didn't want somebody to be like, here's peanuts and papers. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? You, so you. I, uh, my dad got wind, got mad that I didn't take him to the Reds game, sends me a voicemail, cusses me out and everything. Then sends me a long text so I don't include him and stuff. And he's come to expect this from me. And I'm going, is he mad about a Reds game? Mm-hmm. I called him. And we've done this before. We cussed his other. We got an argument. <clears throat> cussed him out. He cussed me out. I cussed him out. Hung up. This bitch, that picture of me and the girl, he sent it to my ex. Wow. Then, that's how she found out. That's where that all came from. Mm-hmm. Then he posted the picture I sent on his Facebook page with the middle finger emoji in front of it. Then he posted a picture of my ex-wife on his Facebook page and said, I got your back to this divorce. You've always been like a daughter to me. I I'm respect like, him. He don't like black people. Support black women. He don't Go. like black people, though. <laughs> like, he, this mug is a Trump oh, thumper. He don't like black people. He's a Trump thumper. 
Like, I ain't saying he was at the Capitol. He's at the Monument when they rushed him. He made the trip. I think he just got cold feet the last minute. This whole bag bitch. Who does that to their son, though? Oh, that you weren't around, though. Oh, my right. God, right? man. And then post Listen, that for attention. And post that. And then to, to give her, like, the only thing you did, you didn't hurt me. You didn't hurt that girl. You hurt my ex and you hurt my kids with that. That's real. You didn't hurt me. You know what I mean? Well, so now time. he's now he's he's you know he's uh, um he's always posting stuff on his uh, uh Facebook about what a good mom they got stuff like that. I'm like this, you bitch. <laughs> like you're not, you, you haven't even been around. Okay, I tell you one thing. Well, can you get him some Reds tickets? You really don't um, feel it, when man. King, man. All over a baseball game. <laughs> Keep mind, motherfucker never, never took me to a baseball game growing up. Yeah. Right. What, now now you is bitch. the new woman black or white? Dude, don't worry about that. I need to know, oh, guys. They're, they're always going to be black. Ooh. Yeah. Now, what, why was why was Kenya mad at Claudia Jordan? <laughs> I remember when things were hitting the fan, and then she was blaming Claudia for something. That was um. So when I when I called and said I wanted to divorce, you know, you're you're so worried that your quote unquote past is going to catch up with you, basically, mm-hmm. right? And so that weekend before, I was in Dallas, and. Uh, I use the same trainer every time I go to Dallas. And Claudia introduced me to the trainer. It's it's a female trainer. Mm-hmm. So I guess she went to the trainer's page and saw a picture of me and her that I didn't tell her I took that picture with the trainer. Keep in mind, it's a public place. We just took a picture. And she just, uh, I guess she took that and was like, I must, I must be sleeping with that trainer in Dallas, which mm-hmm. wasn't true. Mm-hmm. And Claudia introduced me to the trainer, mm-hmm. basically. So that's how Claudia got in the middle. Gotcha. But that didn't happen. That didn't happen. How how this process affected just you mentally and emotionally? Because it can't be easy. I know you laughing and yeah. joking, but it can't be easy. I tell you what, though, a lot of a lot of people reached out, like a lot of dudes that have been through messy divorces in our business. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I'm not going to name names, but I keep our conversations private. But a lot of a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, but mentally, it, it gets to you sometimes. Like you be in the car and you just be like, <laughs> the wrong, the wrong song comes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it it gets taxing at times because you're alone and like I I was there the whole time my kids grew up, mm-hmm. you know. So it's like to to be yeah. now to have no like contact with them. It's like, would you ever tell the kids the real story? I know you you said that you wouldn't ever tell the whole story because you don't want to guess make her look bad. But yeah, you, it's not looking bad. Okay, it's just like. I don't want it's it's not my place really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my place to When she's to ready to put, tell it, she can tell it. She can tell it if she, she wants to. Is she cheat on you? There's always huh? three sides. Is she cheat on you? I'm not I'm not you know, but here's the thing with with a divorce too. We always ask what the man did. We that's, always do that. I was like, is she cheating on you? That's Every right. time the divorce happened, we always like, ooh, the man had to do something. Mm-hmm. It's like this. We never like say, look, what what, what like if it's a bad marriage, it's a bad marriage. Cuz when I called her and said I want the divorce and I said, "Yo, I just I think you're going to be happier. I'm going to be happier. I said, I want you. Because she would say, like, I need this from you, and this from you, and this from you. I said, I couldn't give it to her anymore. I just couldn't. So mm-hmm. I was like, I want you to be happy. I want you to find somebody else. And, you know, there's no malicious intent on mm-hmm. my part. I thought that's the route we was going. Yeah. But but you get, you know, <clears throat> I also knew that, you know, she was, I think it's like as a woman, you're like, what, what didn't I do right? And he had to be doing something else. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But we never ask what the woman do. Isn't it crazy to have been so now. in love and never anticipate that things would end this way? You know, just think about like the earlier days and you think things are forever and we just love each other. And then you never expect people to just be at war like this. Yeah. Well, this is a very one sided war. Cause I'm not really at war. Mm-hmm. I just want to get, I want to, I want to have a relationship with my kids again, obviously. Cause like I, I had a show in Sacramento about a month ago and the, our oldest, my stepson, um, his aunts came to my show, and I got worried. So oh. his his aunts on his real dad size, okay. you know, and I saw him. They was at the meet and greet, and I was like, "Oh no!" I, mm-hmm. I didn't know what was coming at me, and I looked at them, and they walked up on the stage, and I said, "Are you mad at me?" And they said, "No, we can never be mad at you. You, you took care of our Emilio." Mm-hmm. Like so, they they acknowledged like, "Oh, mm-hmm. through all whatever, whatever." Like I, you know, they was like they saw the bigger picture. Like, oh, you basically. Raised a kid that wasn't yours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And now he's 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 cool. Proud member of society. During that time, how did you make money? Because you were on the road, you weren't doing shows, you were hiding and ducking, but you still had two mortgages. You still had to pay for college. Yeah, you still had though. to pay for things. Like how how did you keep the money coming in? Yeah, we saw those numbers. No, I was I was still on on the road. 
I was just careful. Right. Gotcha. No, I would tell the clubs. I'd call the clubs. Like, look, I ain't been served. I need security. Like, we would have security like in the front, almost like plants, like undercover cops. I said, I need, I need one of your security guys in the front. And wow. I, if anybody gets up, they cannot come towards the stage. Baltimore had like a plastic hockey thing around it. The Baltimore County, like, oh, really? I felt like I was playing for the uh, <laughs> the Rangers. So you were preparing for comedians getting attacked long before Chappelle and Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because wow. there was one time, uh, one time in Baltimore, uh, somebody tried to give my opener uh, a Manila envelope. He goes, "Yeah, I got this show in Pittsburgh for Gary." I was like, "That's not how we do things." And he came in the back. And he's like, "Yo, this guy I said you can't accept anything." You, you just because he's in the lobby pumping his social media and everything, I said, you can't accept nothing because you accept something, I can be served. Mm-hmm. So that could have been another instance. I don't know. You don't know who's a problem. Them, them dudes are tricky. That could even Colorado Springs. Yeah. He almost got me, bro. Almost. But well, I, well, go ahead. No, go ahead. I, the betrayal part's the 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 worst. Why do you keep saying betrayal? Like, what is it? My what? dudes, man. Like, oh, your people my around openers. you. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, what happened with your opening comedians? Yo, you, they, they just think they, they, they dirty, man. That's dirty. You, you don't tell. Like, no matter what happens, you don't ever go to some dude's family and talk smack about. It. Especially, if you do put money in your pocket. Right. So to 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 go to my kids and everything and and talk shit about me, I'm like, and why? telling them stuff. Like, why would you tell them that? You know what I mean? So I just. And how old you, old's your uh, your youngest? She's twenty. She's twenty. Okay. She's at she's at uh, A and T in Greensboro. So now, with your kids, you, so use... you missed the you missed the twenty first birthday of the other ones. You missed Dang. all the, those mm-hmm. those those monumental yep. dates. I never missed a birthday. And then Man. these last, I missed the last two for both. Jeez. And I'm you know? hoping that that gets better yeah. for you soon. But that's why when Charlamagne said, why are you coming on? I go, well, eventually I was going to have to talk anyways. I mean, you don't have to, mm-hmm. but eventually, you know, you got to you gotta address the elephant in the room. I did Absolutely. in my special a little bit. I was going to ask you that. How does this play into your stand-up now? I've heard when Marlon Wayne was, was up here, he said anything can be funny. But how do you turn this into material at all? Oh, no, it's funny. Like, you can turn funny. You don't have to... You don't have to you don't have to make it about her and what she did to make her to be some evil person, mm-hmm. but you can make anything funny. I, I kind of dressed it in my last special a little bit, mm-hmm. but uh, the new one, I'll, I'll hopefully it'll be final by then, and then I could just talk. And it's not even about her; it's about me. Mm-hmm. What what was I feeling? What was I going through? Why did I do what I did? And where I'm at now with 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 my life. Are you nervous you know? about your black fan base, especially women, black women? Nah, they good. They're rocking with you. Yeah, because when I it was funny too. I was in some city and I was in my hotel for like eight days straight, and you're just reading the internet, and you're just like, you go crazy doing that. Yeah, you gotta stop that, Gary. But there's <laughs> nothing else to do. Like you're like you're just in your room, and I can only watch so much TV. So you just you're and, and it's funny because the blog sites that I read, I keep popping up. I go ah, oh, wake up, I'm like again mm-hmm. something else. So you, it starts to mess with your psyche a little bit, and then. Um, uh, somebody called me and made sense of it. They said, your talent is not going to allow you to go broke. They said that to me. And I said, oh, I need to hear that. And then I was in a, I was on stage. When the first time I got on stage after shit hit the fan, and this lady in the back, I'm like 45 minutes in my act, she goes, I love you, little cheating ass. <laughs> and I go, you don't know how bad I need to hear that. Not that words, but just the fact that she's like, we don't care. Well, did you cheat, Gary? That's the thing. Everybody wants to know that. I will I not can you let us know since you don't want to tell us? She'll let us know. Yeah, she'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, according, to like her, yes. according to her, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you did, you did. Huh? If you did, you did. It's, you know, the sad, I'm going back I'm sad to, that you did, but, you know. I'm, I'm going back when you, if you're just so unhappy in a marriage, you're just like, oh, I, I can't keep, <clears throat> I can't keep doing this. Yeah. And it's bad as a, as a dude because you're in there for the kids, you're trying to be there for them, but then you're just like, I can't do it anymore. He was already emotionally, mentally disconnected. Completely. He was checked out. Completely. Gotcha. Like, it was just like, your roommates. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, I can't, I just can't do it anymore. Now, did I think it would be this bad with the kids? No. Mm. Did I think it would be bad, this bad with her? Yes. Mm-hmm. I was I was mentally prepared for I'm her sure to lash out because kids, yeah. you're kind of blowing up the spot a little bit. You know, you're coming in going, I don't want to be married anymore. And I think, I can't speak for her, but I think women are like, well, why wasn't I good enough? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying lot- to figure out, like, with the kids, like, he was there. So the fact mm-hmm. that you with your daughter, like, could you imagine your daughter not talking to you ever again? Yeah, because that's your daughter. Your daughter probably hates how you did mom. And But what you but said. she still would talk to you because she still would want to get both sides. She still would want to have a conversation. She still would want to have that relationship. Yeah, okay. but she don't want to hear that. Even if, even if, what yeah, you said, son. it makes perfect sense. Like, you're emotionally, mentally disconnected, but kid, nobody still wants to hear that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. They're, like, still working out with mom. 
Yeah, because you, know? you want you want the you know, and I and you know, in my daughter's eyes and my son's eyes, it's like uh, you you did her wrong. You know, how could you do that to her? Blah blah blah. And I'm just going, can we? I and my thing is to sit down with my kids. I don't want to talk. I want to listen. I want to hear how they felt when it happened. How do you feel about me now? And then we could. Move and I think forward. also what it would really hurt them the most probably is finding out through TMZ. Yeah. That's yeah. that because you you go to school you with your classmates and then all of a sudden it's bang and it's like oh okay. and, and it got it got dropped on like Friday night like I'm sure my daughter was out with her friends yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that my son I was just like this oh Friday night not like Tuesday morning do you think you sabotaged your the marriage on purpose because you was ready to be out so it's like you know what catch me I don't care uh I mean there's some, there's some validity to that uh I don't think that was my mindset I just think it was more like I just. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. And, and it, mm-hmm. I think with with her, with me filing first, her betrayal was how. So you planned this. Mm-hmm. That's that was her thing. Mm-hmm. Like you planned this. Mm-hmm. You went and got a lawyer, and you had you been you been like leading me on, and you knew this was coming. Damn. But I was like, in my mind, I was like, I I had to do that. That's how divorce works. You get to lawyer, you got to protect yourself, and then you call and you hope you know work it out. But. Because it was it was odd when it was like you're reading all these people going. I'm glad she left that dusty white devil. You know what I mean? I was like this. She didn't know. You know, I left first. You're not denying you're a dusty white devil. You just <laughs> denying that. <laughs> Gary, you dusty. You always missed the big I'm the not key word, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's true, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah. So you, you don't think y'all ever be even cool again? I do. One day, like okay. I can laugh about like I. My part in the divorce, I can own it with her. I'll keep that between us and everything. But also her part in it, like I, I eventually I'll be able to laugh about it. I know I don't. I'm not really malicious like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't have malicious bones in my body to like, except for my dad. So listen, if, if I'm not, I'm not saying she did. But if she did cheat on you, was it get back for what you was doing? Hmm. Because the male ego is very fragile. We can dish yeah. it, but can't take it. Unless you're unless you're emotionally checked out, unless you're emotionally checked out, then yeah. then I think that's like you. Yeah. And this is one thing too. You, if you, if you're with a woman, and even the thought of her cheating doesn't affect you, yeah, you should probably get out. Oh, I agree with you. You should probably get out. Like it it wouldn't yeah. have like it, mm-hmm. if she would have came to me at, at the point when I filed, if she would have came to me like, well, I'm seeing somebody else, I'd have been like, good. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like good. Yeah. That way you're you you can focus your energy on him. And move on. Hopefully, he's the right guy for you. People don't right. discuss that enough. That what you're talking about, just being emotionally disconnected, because it's always like like Envy named all those things earlier: abuse and cheating. And sometimes things just run its course, man. Yeah. And true. there wasn't none of that. There was no mental, physical abuse with me and her or the kids. None of that ever happened. Like, it just it just didn't. Did like, you guys try therapy? We did uh, a while back, and then, but this time the therapy would have been just spinning the wheels, like. You know, I knew I was out. Mm. I knew it, and I just and the thing was, I I stayed in it longer than I should have mm. for the kids, and I didn't I didn't want to hurt nobody. Mm. So you're just staying in it, and you're coming home going, man, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. And we had, you know, mm-hmm. we just was like, I just didn't want to be there. The bad thing is, even with your kids, they're never gonna like your new relationship, regardless. Of, of how great the woman is, they're never gonna like it because they're always gonna look at that as a disrespect to mom. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a tough thing that you yeah, have to deal with. Yeah, could be. But how does she feel about and it? And another I, black woman too. Oof. Yeah. How does how does how does the I new promise you, if it was feel? another race, it probably would have been a little. She would have took it a little different. Really? I think. So. I don't think so. I think it'd been worse. Yeah, I don't. I if he would have left, let's so. say he would have left, and he would have left with a white woman, and they posted. A white woman? It makes sense. Dusty white devil. Dusty white devil. Mm, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dang it. See, <laughs> but, like this. But how is the new woman dealing with it? How is she dealing with everything? Because I got to tell you, man, I'm keeping everything yeah, private from here on out. <laughs> I'm not about to go there. And, and why would you trust her though? Who the new woman? What are you talking about? I'm saying, why would you trust her to keep things quiet? You don't have a baby on the way, do you? No, I don't have a baby on the way. You got a baby on the way? No, I don't have ba- <laughs> twins. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, why would you trust no. her? <laughs> Look, man, let's focus on what I came here for, all right? Focus, let's focus on the past and not the future. <laughs> let's focus on this white devil Dusty's past. Oh, oh man. Oh, well, I just wanted to, I guess, yeah, because you, you, you was like, why'd you come on and, and say it now? I go, I guess I figured this was the right platform, yeah. and I knew coming on here, like, I could really say my piece without... 
being so emotionally, um, how do you call it, separated at this point, yeah. like I can just speak on the facts gotcha. and not be like, well, this is what she was doing and this is how she was feeling. I can't speak on that. Yeah. I can just tell my part. Gotcha. I left. I wasn't happy. I own what I did between us. She knows, and I don't have to. And I don't have to bring up dirt on her. Talk bad about her. It's pointless. It doesn't help. It's just another thing for the blogs to talk about. Yeah. We, we actually have Kenya on the phone. <clears throat> Would you like to talk to her? You mother. No, no, we don't. But no, we do. We do. We do have that thing called. Uh, what's that thing called? What's it called, Eddie? Fair, fair air trade. You know, when somebody comes up and tells their side. So feel if, free. Yeah, if, if she, she ever wants to, to come up, we have feel, to. Feel free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. look, feel free, and she can air whatever she wants about me. You know, that's on her. Yeah. That's, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't think she would, her. though. You know what I mean? I don't think she would. She got Instagram. Well, you're still part of the. Well. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> she's, she's gone in so much. Like, man. It was like getting, it was I, like, it was like getting in a fight with freaking uh, Tyson Fury. She just yeah. kept coming. Like, shh, shh, shh. You did know? you ever hit her and like be like, could you stop? No, I never. He meant text. Never. No, I meant like text, text Gary. Text, like, text, did you text, 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 text Gary? <laughs> like, wow. Jesus. Never. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But here's, here's and it text. sucks because it is love and war. Like, I am literally following the advice of my legal team, the attorney, where they said you can't reach out because it comes up in court. Yeah. yeah Anything yeah, yeah. you do comes up in court. So I'm yeah. like, they said you. Ha- I know it sucks, but you have to stop communication with her. So Not the kids. Spoke? Oh my gosh. April or May wow. of, of this last, year? Of last, last year, year 2021. Wow. Wow. Like, she's texted a couple times and stuff like that. But as far as me responding, yeah, it's been a while. Just because I'm, once the divorce is final, what I hope is like, then I can call her and be like, let's sit down. And if you got to yell at me, yell at me and, and get it off you, your chest. You thought about just calling her and the reason being because you know who the real winners is, as, as y'all attorneys. But he can't. Her attorney and her attorney are caking off. Yeah, that's true. So whatever they gotta do, they oh my goodness, that I, I would hate to see that build. She but I've it. seen how they do it in court. I see how they take a, your words right. or something you do and just completely twist. You're like, that's that's not what happened. That's, yeah. That was a joke I said on stage, or things like that. Like God, and every 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 dime you spend, they're bringing up. Like they they got upset. I went to the Super Bowl. I've been waiting to Bengals my whole life. To go to the Super Bowl and they was like, he went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like I'm like I'm tricking off my money on the Super Bowl. They didn't know I made money on the Super Bowl because I bought uh Dwayne Wade and Gab got the suite at SoFi. Mm-hmm. As soon as the Bengals went, they couldn't go. I bought the tickets off Dwayne. He said, How many you want? I said, Eight. Give me all eight. So I bought all eight at cost for him. So he didn't make no money, he didn't lose money. I just basically paid for him. So I was able, and I and I that's what I wanted. I want to take my kids to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So that's when I flew to Greensboro and tried to see my daughter. It was Saturday, Super Bowl Sunday, and I knocked and she wouldn't answer. And I was like, I was trying to get her like, come on, I got a plane, Damn, let's go, man. and she wouldn't go. Yeah. And then uh, so I I took some other people, but I sold the unused tickets and made made money off the Super Bowl basically. Does Dwayne Wade know this? What? That you made money off his tickets. Oh, they yours. You bought them. Yeah, yeah, I bought them. Oh, yeah, yeah. He bought them, but as a friend, he was like, "Yeah, it's, it's. But I took, I took, he I took a couple that. people in Wayne's crew as oh, a okay. thank you, like the oh, right. the you know you know Sean. I don't know if you guys know Chantel. Chantel's and the Wayne. Oh, and I Gabs. love Chantel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I took Chantel because mm-hmm. she's the one that helped facilitate the deal between me and Dwayne mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah, so I know I said, Chantel, Roxy, Terrence, Chantel. Yeah, okay. I was, oh, I was, okay. yeah. Heart. So I took, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I told her, I said, I said, dude, I, I'm gonna give you two tickets. Because you helped seal the deal, and my kids wasn't going now, so I just I, she okay. went and everything. So you, it was like I made money off Super Bowl. So it wasn't like I went and 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 tricked off. I actually made money off those. Do you regret flirting with Wendy Williams and like she, telling I all did your not business flirt with Wendy on that show? I did not. I did not. Yes, you did. She asked me out. I didn't flirt did with she? her. Oh yeah, she did ask you out. Yeah, she asked me out. out. You, you went out with her, right? Huh? You went out with her, right? I met in a public place. That's going out still. No, you when you catch your own Wendy. Uber at home and to and from, that's not. <laughs> that's going out, Gary. No, you was outside. Public place. I thought it was going to be with a group. So you went, Gary. You went out. I did not go on a date. Oh my god! I did not go on a date. You went out. You went out, Gary. I did not. She she publicly <laughs> asked you out on television. Then you met her later that day, at a restaurant. Oh, that's going god. out, Gary. That's a pub. My thing with this is, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Place. Why wouldn't I, if someone like her, and we, you don't like to think of her as a mogul, but she is. She she, she is, rolled absolutely. the dice on her radio show and got her own talk show, and everyone's like, you crazy. you making cake mm-hmm. on your radio show. Mm-hmm. And it worked out. 
So why wouldn't I get a chance to go one on one and just like, how did that work? How did you do that? Like, I'd be stupid. We always say like, mm-hmm. you should always people doing better than you, not better than you, but people have done stuff that yeah. you haven't done mm-hmm. in your world. Like, pick their brain. But Joe like, stuff. Yeah, okay, we, we know you didn't go. On so a date. it was one on one. Not he went on a date. <laughs> no, we there was other people around though, <laughs> in the restaurant. When not I got there, there was other people sitting with her. Got you. Was your she, they, your wife was mad about that though? Your ex wife was mad about that. I don't. No, nah, I don't think so. Nothing happened there. She yeah. vented. She was mm-hmm. on Instagram. She. Was I think winning. she was more upset of what I said on Wendy. on the interview. Yeah, on Wendy. You know what I mean. So it's it sucks, but. How much longer do you think this is going to go on in court before you finalize things? Well, we got media. Well, we finally agreed to mediation, mm. so that's coming up. That's great. And then if we don't, if that don't work out, we go to we go to trial in October. So hopefully before the end of the year, it'll be over with. Mediation's oh, yeah. a good sign, though. I hope because that, that's all I want. Just let's just be fair and let's just move on because we can't get this time back. And, right. Goodness gracious! Damn, Gary. Gary we, we, I was looking forward to going to Auntie's homecoming. Yeah. You, you know can what still I mean? go. You can still go. It'd be awkward. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it definitely oh. be awkward because you'll be there by yourself. Your daughter walk right by you, not speak. Right, Fighting for the love of your children makes perfect sense to me. So. What's that? Fighting for the love of your children makes perfect sense Absolutely. to me. Yeah, man. That's the weird part because I didn't have the examples. I didn't have, like, I, my dad went around and then mm-hmm. my stepdad was kind of a dick. So it was just like, I didn't have the examples. Mm-hmm. So I, as when you become a dad, like, I didn't know what to do, but I knew what not to do. Right, right, so right, right, there right. was no, you ain't this. I always made sure I, I uplifted my kids and spoke highly of them they did they, you know son got cut from the team it's mm-hmm. alright let's get let's go practice stuff like that like I would have coached all his sports teams if I was in town a lot but as a comedian we're leaving yeah but there was like you know when I came home I never missed a practice never missed a game none of that stuff I, like if I could make a game like there was times like I had a show uh, and I if I could make it back to Cincinnati for the game I'd fly back and to make it back to my show that night I was in D.C. I remember one time they I direct flights. I had to get back to Cincy, went to his game, and flew back to make my show just because I wanted to see his game. I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed going to their stuff, mm-hmm. wow. the recitals and everything. So that's what that's well, what sucks. Well, I'm really hoping this all works out soon for you. Absolutely. Now, yeah, me, I'm about to sit back and watch the rebuttal. The rebuttals are going to be amazing oh, from this interview, it. huh? The rebuttals from well, this really, interview are going to be amazing. I didn't say nothing bad. No. You but, don't have and, you are, to. and you are on tour, right? That we outside tour. We outside coming. tour. Yeah, that's coming. We we started late September. Mm-hmm. Y'all making like three dollars a show. No way. <laughs> on that. That's so, a good. That's a good line. Yeah, yeah. So you oh, know, I'm just doing it. I'm charity. Oh man, charity. Char- <laughs> <laughs> well, Gary, oh, we appreciate you for joining. Hold us. Hold on, we might as well since she's here. This is the most unfunniest interview I've done here. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> I, I'm finding this highly amusing. <laughs> Who's your Mount Rushmore comedy? Guy. Me, all four faces, bro. All four. Faces, yeah. all four. Why would I think somebody's funnier than me? No. I didn't say funnier. <laughs> what? I just say who's on your mind? Me, me, in, me in the nineties. So he is me a, in the two thousands. So he is me in the two thousand tens. And me in the two thousand twenties. All versions of me. A uh, single Gary Ford got married. Oh, Gary married. Man. Gary unhappily married. And Gary divorced. Those are my four favorite oh, comedians. Gary, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? What did you think I was going to say? The normal. Uh, I was going to say the normal. Yeah, Dave, Eddie. Oh God. Chris, the Richard of the Mill. Yeah. The normal Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Can we get a different statue? The goats. Oh, huh? Man. Are they the goats? Are they? I don't know. You tell me. Are they the goats? Comedy subjective. Uh, to me, Chris, Chris is definitely one of the goats. I mean, Dave's a goat. Depending, I think Chris is a stand-up goat. Dave is a TV stand-up goat. Um, yeah. You want to put Eddie? Chris and Dave. Eddie, yeah, I put Eddie. I mean, I, yeah, Eddie was the first com- stand-up special I ever saw. Actually, Raw when I was a kid. Damn. I wasn't Delirious. Which one was the first one? Delirious. 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 I saw Raw delirious. was like Delirious is red, the red outfit. Yeah, and Delirious. Raw was the blue, blue. outfit. Yeah, yeah, my dad yeah. let me see Delirious when I was a kid. Raw was the first time a girl hit on me and and French kissed me in between um, two uh, arcade machines mm-hmm. after Raw. Went and saw Raw and the theater was empty, and we just had, we were hiding from other people. Went and saw another movie and like the girl was like three years older than me, and all of a sudden she was, I was like, oh what. The- that was the first yeah. time. So that's that's why I remember. I don't remember any any joke in Raw. Raw. But I do remember getting tongue down. Yeah, yeah. After I got Carlin Raw. on my Mount Rushmore. Carlin's a man. And I, but I was I, I was so I didn't get on the Carlin until this doc that came out this year on HBO. What about the doc? Is it good? Oh, it's a fan. Phenomenal. Any from Ohio? I don't remember. Mount oh, Rushmore. We got some. We got some beasts out of Ohio, bro. Yeah, Dave. Cat. How's Dave not on your cat, cat from Ohio too? Cincinnati boy. Wow. Yeah, get it, Steve Harvey. 
the no Steve, mm. Arsenio Hall. Arsenio. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got some monsters coming out of Ohio. Yeah. Seriously. Gary. Yeah. Owen. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, yeah, okay, you don't. Uh, you don't. <laughs> It's Gary just, Owen. It's completely disregarded me, Daniel Stewart. Thank you for joining us. Why'd I come on here? This is stupid. You know what? Delete this whole interview. I'm going back. It's oh. Gary Owen. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.